That's good reveal. Hey, that girl. Look back. Whoa! <laughs> you like went the wrong direction. Dude, the worm didn't see the freaking like, oh. cow. Okay, welcome to Indie Filmmakers React. We are going to be reacting to Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1. We've got Drew. I'm Drew, a cinematographer. I am Jake. I am a writer. And I'm Weston. I'm a film director and I own a film production company. We're indie filmmakers who typically do productions that are $50,000 up to a million dollars. And we're going to be reacting to what we presume is a $15 million episode because that's what the last Mandalorian episodes were. Yeah, we typically do those million dollar movies. <laughs> yeah. Just every day. Dude, that outfit is just too cool. Yeah, it never yeah, gets man. old. Are you looking at my head? <laughs> Don't look at my head. <laughs> Enjoy the fights. Oh, dude, I love this song. Oh, yeah, man, you got the pig people. Actually, I only thought they filmed a few of the scenes in the, the oh, stagecraft right, yeah. thing. And then, you know, looking more into it, it's like, holy crap, they filmed the whole entire film yeah, on it. Yeah, and it looks great. It's super cool. Them. Anywhere they move the camera, it changes the perspective mm -hmm. in the actual screen. So yeah. it looks crazy when you look at it with your normal eye, but... If you guys don't know what we're talking about on the stagecraft thing, we'll link a, a video that kind of explains it. But basically, it's this interactive 360-degree LCD screen that allows them to project backgrounds and make these huge environments while just filming inside a 75 by 75 ring. You gamble, man, though. Not when it can be avoided. His contact lens must be huge. <laughs> <laughs> So do you think his mouth is animatronic, <laughs> or is it? I, uh, I think his face. I think, I think his, his eye is. His eye sure. is animatronic. He looks super creepy because the eye never seems to be looking straight forward. Yeah. Yeah, you know? and that creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Uh, Tatooine, it is then. Uh, wait, Mando, you can't leave me like this. That light on his. Uh, <laughs> Armor is so cool. Yeah, like they don't light. bother like trying to raise those shadows at all. It's yeah, just like everything's based yeah. on kind of the lamp light. You know, very distant. It's very dark. It's uh -oh. like you can almost see more because of how dark it is. <laughs> gonna get eaten by by what? The things. Yeah, what was it? They had lights <laughs> on their heads. Are they in space? Um, Are they in space or what's going on? Are there stars? I haven't seen any stars fighting each other yet. <laughs> Freak Still, out. for me, the most impressive thing is the technology that they pioneered to be able to do the 360 screens. It feels seamless every time you watch it. I mean, it. you had to tell me that because even a trained eye, there's no, I mean, you would have thought they, he was Yeah, they look it. like yeah. locations. Yeah, it looks like a location. There's never been a time yet where I was like, oh, there oh, it, it is. Off. I can yeah, see yeah. it. <laughs> so far, I'm liking it, though. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. I, I love the simplicity of the first season. I hope they don't try to, like, muddle it yeah, up too it much. Too, ma too many... The formula is good, Yeah. right? Go to a place, beat up a bad guy. I don't know what's going to happen, but if it's anything like the first season, find people and or a thing that needs help. Yeah. Go kill things. Help. <laughs> so this yeah. is interesting. So this is the first episode out of the whole series so far that's actually directed by the writer, John... Favreau. Favreau. I can never, I keep oh. wanting to say like, Favreau. Well, <laughs> you know it's gonna be good. On to the second. <laughs> Dude, I cannot believe that, that that looks so legit. It looks real. Yeah. Ears flapping oh, in the yeah. wind. Shadow of the Empire. Did you guys ever play that game on N64? Nope. Oh yeah, well. I'm Played a... Force Unleashed. Yeah, that is great See, environment. See, I wonder how they do these ones. Yeah. What? Or are these just all CG? I just want to, yeah, you probably just CG item into Dude, the, they look so good. Yeah. Into the big wide. It looks just like how Nevada actually looks. <laughs> Guess it was cheaper just to make a fake one than to well, go I try wonder, and film like, it. Cause it, oh, I think all the... you just go get like some template shots. Well, I think I there's real them. shots that they incorporate into the background. Yeah. Looking at everybody, uh, everyone's like, who's oh, this yep. dude? Yeah, oh, that is super Western. Riding in on the horse. Seeing the people trotting real slow. This is the beginning of every Clint Eastwood movie. All right, yeah, here you go. Here's the saloon. Where's the bat wing doors? 
So that's what he did in the first in the first episode. He went to. I do home. like going back a few shots. I liked how you could see his ears flapping. And they, I don't know. I thought it was a cool touch. You don't really see his ears flapping around in the wind. Yeah, that's no, really important to see those ears flapping. <laughs> well, I think it was cool. <laughs> no, no, it's true. I'm agreeing with you. Your marshal wears Mandalorian armor. Is the marshal Mandalorian? See for yourself. That's good reveal. I like that. Uh oh. Oh, oh man, uh -huh. dude. Yeah. Boba Fett. He should be dead by now. <laughs> yeah, he died. <laughs> but, you know, Disney likes to bring people back from the <laughs> dead a lot. Right. So. Is this a Marvel movie? Now they're going to fight. Ooh. Here we go. Take your time. Going, Take bro. your time. Ooh, he's a baby Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> it is. He's like, I he's hate like, this pot. <laughs> I hate it. You can buy this. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Ah, what the <laughs> friggin' whoa. What is that thing? One thing that I really liked about this part was we're giving like more kind of an homage to like Western type style shooting. Yeah. It's like you got the, you know, the gun and then phew, finger twitching down low and yeah. cut to the face and reverse on the face and the push. The sheriff and the pot and the bar and it, it was good. I love Westerns. I think me and Drew both love them a lot. And We've invited Weston to also like him with us. <laughs> That's not true. I and, love Weston. I mean, he doesn't know a thing about Westerns. <laughs> the thing that the thing that I struggle with is like modern Westerns. And I think for us, we've been trying to figure out like what is the difference. And like I, I think a lot of their the essence of what makes those Westerns feel like that type of style is the restrictions that they had. Cheapness. Yeah. Well, like there was the cheapness. It, you know, they didn't have big they didn't have a helicopter, so like you don't have aerial shots, you know, it's always you walk out miles away and get a shot of a horse going across the top of a mountain. Often the restrictions are actually what gives something personality. And that's sometimes where we get into trouble with like CG and things like that is now we don't have restrictions, we can do whatever we want. You have to kind of keep in mind the physicality of like, oh, what's the camera gonna do? And kind of give yourself restrictions that help something come out a little better. Fun movie fact, if you've ever heard the term spaghetti western, that actually is encapsulating a culture of making cheap Western Super movies cheap. back in the 60s and yes. 70s. How far? Not far. All right, we're gonna go kill the worm. Yeah. Here we go, we're right into, oh, oh! A, <laughs> a pod racer motor, that's Oh, that's sweet. cool, yeah. I like that. You don't understand what it was like. Town was okay. last <laughs> All right. He's I imagine just talking. It much louder than that. It'd be like, I don't know if you know what it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite audio scene. Is episode one? They have the extended version where they have the super long podcast scene. It's like yeah. oh, man. the podcast scene. Oh, sorry. The, po <laughs> the, the pod, pod racing. Scene. Joe Rogan's <laughs> like, it's working. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Is the creature? Is it just gonna eat him? Uh, somebody practicing opera. <laughs> He's like, who's uh -oh. there? Ooh. Oh, dude, that is sick. Good reveal. Oh. Did he just burp? Burp! <laughs> Excuse me! So he Pussy. can talk to the dogs. Come. You doggy, come to me. Oh! Oh no, that's stupid. See, that it's, I just don't, I wish they wouldn't do that crap in movies. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, they were like that the dogs. Yeah. That makes that sense. That makes sense. Yeah. And he was hanging out with them when he was trying to find the yeah, town. That makes sense. I thought he was gonna be like some like animal whisper. whisperer. <laughs> I still would have liked it if they fought the dogs. You wanna tell me what's going on? They wanna kill the great dragon too. Just rubbing a rock on his dude. <laughs> He's keeping them filed. Don't you know their teeth get <laughs> long and pointy? Yeah. Ah, the Dude, beautiful awesome Tatooine. I see, was that a real shot or was that a LCD screen? I, I wouldn't know. know. Yeah. Dude, that must not be good for your vocal cords. <laughs> okay. 
the rest of the show, he's just like, <laughs> he's like, what's wrong with you, man? You got a cold? Oh, he's talking to sand people. Oh, cute baby Yoda. Those no. are Klingons, right? The Klingon leper colony. They raided our village. I defended the town. Lower your voice. This was a bad idea. Oh, dude. Uh -oh. This guy's not good with relations. Sit back down before. He, he has not been trained in de escalation. Dude, you. Well, he was counting on the Mandalorian having his back. That's why I thought he could go up against the whole drive of them. I want. I wonder. What All right, we're gonna go kill the worm, right? <laughs> Dude, All right, run, run. Oh, he's got plenty of time. Oh yeah. Dude. Or oh, never mind. Go, that is wicked. Go, go. That's much further than I thought. <laughs> he doesn't have plenty of time. Oh, Trent, don't look back. Whoa! Oh, no! ah! <laughs> he like went the wrong direction. Dude, the worm didn't see the freaking oh. cow. It was three feet in front of you. <laughs> I was just like, whatever. I like how the one sand dude's like, oop. <laughs> all right, it's all out war now. Get him. Attack. Dude, the creature looks pretty awesome. Dude, it looks so good. They did oh, a good yeah. job of like keeping him earthy, you know? He's gonna crush him with his belly. Again, with like CG, I think he just always. Ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that didn't oh, look no. good. I wonder if they did the. Boom! Oh. All right. Did they. It worked. Was there. Was there a bunch of bombs under it? Yeah, that was. The, they had a whole long a whole scene bomb. where they buried the bombs, remember? No. <laughs> so I wonder if the liquid, did they do that practically on set? Or is it all CG? I don't know. Because I know um, David Fincher, like, he never does liquids on set. Because he, he always is trying to do, like, 20 plus takes. So, like, if there's blood or water or anything like that, it's always CG. I'm sure the people melting were CGI. I think that was... Did they melt? Did they? Yeah, they melted them. Really? Yeah. It's just like acid. Oh, spit stuff. Good. Yeah, I didn't notice what happened to him. this watch. Ah! Watch the people. Watch the people get melted. He's picking us off like warp rats. Let's get after it. As if being enormous wasn't enough of a defense system. <laughs> All right, we couldn't do it with the bombs. Always a good occasion to use a jetpack. Yeah, yeah. Characters with jetpacks should always be using their jetpacks. Dang, that is wild. Oh, I love how they land. Dude, yeah, it was super cool. Yeah, I feel like landing is a good way to to give away the fact that like it was CG. If it's just like a boom, you plant it perfectly, and it's like, oh, no stumble or anything. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> love it, man. There he is. <laughs> Thank you, <Yeah>. Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Jeez, I'm dude. That looks so awesome. Dude, it's like the sperm whale of the sand. Take it. What's the plan? You're going to take care of the child. What are you going to do? I don't know, but wish me luck. Just like I'm wishing you luck. Hey, that's how uh, Bubba Fett died. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Apparently, they've got a faulty yeah. <laughs> motor on that piece of armor. <laughs> wow. Oh, there you go. Oh. All right, dude, you got a jetpack now. Go. Jet you got a jetpack. And we're going. <laughs> oh. dude, what the heck? Did he get eaten? <laughs> he was afraid the cow was going to run away. Dude, the cow can't move more than like a mile a second. <laughs> Except for when they're scared. They're more really than a mile fast. an hour. I guess a mile a second would be wicked fast. <laughs> comes out riding it. He's tamed it. There you go, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness. Got the monster. Oh my nice. goodness. Dude, it's cool, man. Cool all the sand, like, yeah, the wave cloud. Yeah, actually, that's, that's. See, that was good too. He, like, almost lost it. See, that's great. Like, they did all this in, like, a sand environment, so there was lots of clouds and movement. And it makes the monster feel so much bigger yeah. to have something like sand to accentuate its every move. 
<laughs> for the horde. <laughs> for I. Now they can go back to their hating ways. Hate, <laughs> killing each other. I hope like stuff comes off or he's gonna smell the crap. That's a cool shot. Oh, that is job. cool. Awesome. Man, was that better than that crappy Mulan movie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not like that's hard. Well, Mandalorian, can it Star Wars? Yes, it can! <laughs> you know, Mandalorian, not surprised. We like it. No, I mean, not every episode of the first season was spot on, but yeah. it's a good show and it's a good Solid. concept. I like, I like that now he's on this spiritual quest mm -hmm. to take this baby thing back to its people. Yeah. So, and it's, it's cool. I like it. But it had everything we wanted. It had the yeah. big scary monsters. It feels it like had Star the, Wars. Right. Yeah. Yep. The cool gunfights. Uh, there was lots of explosions, but it didn't feel too saturated at the Dude, same time. Dude, it looks great. Like just was, the whole yeah. overall look of it. And I think a lot of that is attributed to that 360 stagecraft technology of being able to film these massive environments without having to it's go the, there. It's the perfect mix of what Lucas was trying to do with, with technology, the screen, yeah. with the original, with like, with practical mm. use as well. Yeah. So they took really good practical uh, puppetry and makeup and stuff and then mixed it with that digital background, mm -hmm. which just, and it, so it looks, it, it looks real. It's yeah. awesome. Well, the thing that I really loved is they were very, I felt like they were very restrictive with how they use CG um, to where, you know, they weren't doing big camera movements because I think because they had the physicality of a camera moving on that set, you know, it helps kind of slow stuff down. Yeah. They framed it to where the creature was bigger than the frame. I think that's the part for me that always like distracts me from like Marvel movies and stuff and why I don't like them is it's just the camera's free to all over the place. And it's like, I think subconsciously your mind knows that we couldn't move a camera that fast. And so thus for rendering it unrealistic in your mind. I, I really liked the first uh, season. That was pretty solid. And uh, I'm hoping they won't go in a bad direction in the second season. <laughs> what, what more What more can you what hope, can we hope for It's any always TV a risk show? in today's world. Yeah. You know, or if they don't take it too far. My favorite TV shows all ended it before they could take it too far. Yeah. So. If you're into filmmaking or new to filmmaking, be sure to check out our series called The Process where we show the behind the scenes as we go through productions, both in commercials and feature films, as well as check out our other series, Questions and Context, where we answer your filmmaking related questions. Thanks guys so much for joining us for Indie Filmmakers React as we went through Mandalorian. Tell us in the comments what you guys thought about it. If there's any insights that we share that were beneficial to you, feel free to throw below in the comments what other things you'd like to see our team react to. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the other button, hit the button that's on the next button, and then hit that other button that goes to the other button, and we'll see you next time.